How do you pay yourself in your side hustle? This is a great question. A lot of times people are running a business, making a little bit of money. Well, what do you do with that money? You know, you, you maybe don't have enough to hire accounting. Or just, do you just take it? Do you, what do you do with it? Let me answer that question the best I can for you. First, you know, you probably want to get an accountant because they can save you uh, some money on how to do it. But let's say you just filed an LLC through draftedlegal.com and then by default, you'd be taxed as a partnership. So that means it's all passed through. So let's say you make $10,000 in a month and you want to pay yourself 2,000. You're the only owner, no employees, just side hustle selling services or products. What you would do is write yourself a check with your name on it and go deposit it. That keeps the paper trail. I guess there's a scenario where you could transfer it. We'd probably say write that check out. So you pay it to you. So then what do you do? We obviously want to keep track of all the payments that have gone to you. And when you do that, we recommend this is more of a best practices. You're going to end up paying taxes at the end of the year, you know, for your first year. So we usually recommend, you know, you take 25% of, of that and set it aside so that you have enough to pay the taxes. It is a common tale where someone has been paying themselves and paying themselves and then they get a tax bill and they're used to getting a, a refund and now they owe several thousand dollars and they're, they're you know, in a bit of a pickle there. So make sure you set that aside and don't treat the whole thing as, as new money for you to, to play with, just you know 75% of it. So that's exactly what you do. You write your name on it and you pay yourself as an equity owner in the business. What happens if sometimes you file as an S Corp? Those people, the owners, the officers will get paid W-2s and then distributions on top of that. If you're filed as an S Corp, you are likely working with an accountant. So I would ask them for their advice. If you have an accountant or bookkeeper, Go reach out to them and say, what's the best way to pay myself? Do I do it regularly? Do I do it as the money comes? Um, but regardless, if you do it, just make sure you track it and you set aside some money that way. So I hope that's helpful. You know, a lot of times you're like, well, how do I get the money out of here without commingling my business and my personal? Because that's the whole point of the LLC is to keep them separate. Well, that's how you do it. There's nothing wrong with just putting, you know, for me, I'd put Wesley Henderson on the check from, you know, I'm signing both sides of it. It's uh, exactly how need to be doing it. So I hope that helps answer, you know, a question that, that, you know, comes up all the time and is not easier, easy to find an answer on. Um, as you continue to grow, make sure you get that tax advice you need. Um, it's very helpful. They can help save you money. So anything you spend, you usually end up uh, saving. So I highly recommend tax professionals. Um, but I hope your business keeps making money. So you got more checks to write and keeps doing well. So go to draftedlegal.com for any of your legal needs. Um, LLCs, templates, and just uh, free information to help your business grow and grow and grow. All right, best of luck.